With the buttons block, you can ask the user to select between given options. And as you can see, the first component of the buttons block is a send a message block. And here you can type your question. And this colored box below is going to be our button. You can enter some text here and then add another one or you can duplicate it duplicate it again here you can delete it here you can also hit shift plus enter to add another button and that's it now to open the block settings you just need to click on these three dots on the upper right side so the first thing you see here is the advanced buttons editor so here you can delete or edit or add another button and rearrange the ones that you already have. But not only that, if you click on the little dented wheel on the right side of the button, you will be able to see the different types of design you can add to the button. So it usually comes as a text button, but you can choose if you prefer to have it as, a, as an emoji or an icon or to display an image. And you can also add an external link to this button. So when the user clicks on the button, um, a new window will be opened with the URL that you have added to this option, to this button. So now let's duplicate the block to see the different types of design that we can choose for the buttons. So in the second one, um, let's put a, a link here. Okay, so let's put Google, for example. Let's change the button's alignment so that you can see. Let's choose this one to display in vertical instead of horizontal, which is the default display. Let's save it. Okay, let's add another one. So let's duplicate the block. Connect it. And here, let's choose a different design. I'm gonna choose an icon for this design. So this icon here and here again choose a different icon and just choose another one save the block and let's duplicate it again see how it looks in a different design so for this one let's choose emojis don't forget to save your block as usual okay so let's add just one more buttons block so that we can add some images to it so this button, so let's connect it to the flow, open the advanced editor, and then you choose the option image in the button's design. And you can upload your file, which is always the easiest and safest option. But please remember that you can also add images from an external URL, as long as it has public access, don't forget that. And even though it shows the option to add a Giphy, um, this is not available in the moment. Okay, so now let's see how each one of these buttons design looks like. So let's share the bot, share with a link, and then you will see the regular design button, so horizontally and with a text button, then vertical buttons here with an external link that we added. So if you click on it, a new tab will be open with that link. Come back to the bot, you can see here with the icons. Now with the emojis, and at last, the images. We're gonna show some more ways in which our buttons block can be displayed. So let's add another buttons block here. All right, let's add some text to it. What's your choice? Okay. Let's add some buttons to the block, of course. Option one, option two, and why not option three? So let's click on the three dots to open the bot settings and let's enable the searchable options, which is what we're gonna show you right now. If you switch the searchable options on, our buttons are gonna go together with a search bar. So let's see how it looks like. Um, this is super useful when you have a long list of options, like for example, a list of countries and you don't wanna scroll through all of them. So we can just type the answer in and use the search bar to select it. So here, let's choose, let's type in, I don't know, option three. You see, um, 
it will come right away and you can choose this button. And that's it with the searchable options. Let's go back to the builder and I'm going to show you the last option that you can set in the buttons block, which is the multiple choices option. So let's unset the searchable options and set the multiple choices option. And this is useful when you want to allow the users to choose more than one option at the same time. So in the same question, the user can choose several answers at the same time. So I'm going to show you how it looks like in the bot. As you can see here, you will give the opportunity to choose more than one option at the same time. And the last thing we should learn about the buttons block is how to create a variable inside it. So how we're going to store the answers of the of the buttons block in a variable. So here you, you can create a variable to save these answers. Okay, so I'm gonna call it, for example, menu one. So if the user chooses the option one or the option two or the option three or using the multiple choices, three of these options, um, they will all be stored in the same variable name, which will be menu one in my case. And you can create it if you haven't already or you can just choose it from the user's list if you have already created this variable. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna choose here menu one. You can save it and I'm gonna add another block. And it's very important that you save different uh, variable names for different blocks because if you choose the same variable name for two different blocks, it will only save the last answer from the user. That means it will overwrite the first answer. So in my case here, in the first block, I call it menu one. And now in the second block, I called it menu two because I want to save both the answers in separate variables. I want to save them both. And you can also delete a variable that you have already created from the list. So and to do that, you just have to click on this trash bin that appears on the right side of the variable and then confirm the operation. You can just click here on delete save your changes and that's it.